oh, wow, this place is amazing. The scenery and, and the, the different places you're working. Yeah, really lucky to get this job and work in such an awesome environment with a great company and a great team. Everybody loves it. Everybody wants to work here. So my job here mainly, I'm a people manager. I have a team that I look after, my team of six construction workers and yeah, I schedule their works and look for improvements and yeah, just look after the team as best I can. Gore was located about 90 minutes south of Adelaide. The Gore barrages were constructed between 1935 and 1940. The barrages are here to separate the sea from the river. We want to keep the salt water out of the river for all the towns around the place so that they can draw fresh water. We have five barrages that we look after here. They go from Gulwa and across Lake Alexandrina. We have Twitchery, which is the biggest of the five barrages. About 320 openings on Twitchery. It's about 1.3 kilometres long of concrete. Then we have U Island. U Island's 111 openings. Then we come to the smallest, which is Boundary Creek. That's only got six openings. And Mundu has 26. And then here at Gulwa, we've got 128 openings. Gulwa and Mundu are the two deepest, but Gulwa's the deepest at 19 foot to the top of the piers. So the job here at Gulwa, we've got five barrages that we need to regulate. We capture a lot of data. We need to know what water's coming into the state, what water's flowing over lock one. That's how we work out how many gates we need open on the barrages. We look after the pool level, which is the water level, from here at Gulwa up to Blanchetown, which is about 200 kilometres away. There's many ways to operate the barrages. We have some gates that are automated, which means we can operate them from a computer and open and close that gate, which will let the water go through. Or we can do that by using our lever, which is an excavator on train tracks. And that will go out, lift the stop logs out, which are very heavy, about two tonne. And it'll do that by going down and hooking it up and bringing that concrete stop log out. After we've finished uh, working out what bays we're going to have open on each day, we go to our maintenance jobs. The environment we work in here, lots of salt, lots of wind, lots of rain. Our structures are steel and concrete. Steel and concrete don't really like being in salt environment, so we have to maintain these barrages. We want to get the, the best life out of them, and me and the whole crew that work here, we're really proud of the, the assets, and we want to keep them in the best condition they can be. We have fishways on all the barrages here. Fishways are really important for the fish. The Congoli, for example, the female lives in the freshwater and the male lives in the saltwater. These guys get together once a year and without fishways or open bays, that can't happen. Fish scientists come down and, and trap the fish every year to examine them, count them, take their sizes, see what's traveling up and downstream. They're really healthy now. Over the, the year, the water levels change upstream. We get different amount of water into the state. We want to get multiple benefits out of the use. Sometimes we need to be releasing more water for a certain fish because it's their time of year and they need fresh water. Sometimes we need to lower the lake so that a certain plant can grow because it needs to be at low water mark. The Kurong is a Ramsar listed site, which means it's in the flight path of birds that use this area to nest in or have a stopover on the way of their destination. We have over 230 birds spotted and there's over 40 different mammals and reptiles in the area. We try and reduce the salinity in the Kurong by opening different gates at different times. When the wind's blowing from the west, for example, that water gets pushed down the Kurong by the westerly winds and hopefully uh, reduces the salinities down there. We need to make sure that we keep the Murray Mouth nice and happy, healthy, keep the Kurong healthy, which in turn keeps the whole River Murray healthy. <laughs>